Using the latest firmware can drastically improve the performance of your device. But if you're watching this video, you probably have some pretty sensible questions about why you would tinker with something that already worked out of the box. You're probably wondering if you're going to break your device, if you can potentially do something wrong, and well, I can't blame you, but as always, we usually fear the things that we don't understand. What is firmware? Why would you want to update it? And what is the best way to do that? This is exactly what this video is all about. So what is firmware? In essence, your camera is a beautifully engineered piece of hardware, but without instructions to run it, it is useless. So think of it as the camera's education, the knowledge of what it can do and what the best ways to do it are. So when your camera was released, it was like a talented photographer graduating from college. A good basic foundation, but you can't stay in school forever and you have to enter the professional field at some point. Real life experience, new insights and advances in technology will gradually turn a novice photographer into a great professional. Why would you want to update the firmware? Well, the same question could be, would you want the 22 year old version of you to do what needs doing? Or would you prefer taking advantage of all the life experience that you have built up this far? In the same way, when it comes to your camera, you want to have the best educated and most experienced version of what your device can do. Using the latest firmware can drastically improve the performance of your device. Some examples are bug fixes, improved autofocus performance and improved performance with certain lenses and many, many more. Let's move on to a step-by-step -step guide on how to update the firmware on your device. Although you can use the app, I personally wouldn't recommend it because you're just adding in another device and just more things that could potentially go wrong. The SD card method is the safest and most reliable way and it is what I will demonstrate here. All you need is the memory card that you already have inside of your camera. Make sure your camera is charged before doing the update. Next, format your SD card by opening up the menu, scrolling down to the wrench, user settings, format, slot one, and then hit okay. Don't forget to backup any images that might still be on there as everything on the card will be deleted. Download the latest firmware from Fujifilm's website. And if you want, you can find the link to the exact page down in the description. Simply put the firmware file onto the SD card and insert your SD card into slot number one. Press and hold down the display back button as you turn the camera on then follow the instructions on the back of the screen and you should be good. The whole process should only take a couple of minutes. You are now running the latest and best version of what your camera is capable of. But remember, a camera is only a tool and it is a user that really makes it come to life. I recently talked about my journey with the Fujifilm X-T4 and if you would like to see that, you can continue on to that video right here. Enjoy using your camera and I'll see you in the next video.